April 7, 2024. So in this products video, I am going to be unboxing the Sphinx Skull Random Booster Set. Now this box actually came from a lot of long time, like actually last, last month really, but lately I've been rather slow to unboxing things, so it's better late than never. It's not like I'm going to be uploading, well actually no, for the Sphinx Skulls, yes, but for the, uh, the burst stuff that's in this box, I am not too sure when I'm going to get around to actually shooting a video with those, but anyways. Uh, okay, probably should have just actually sprayed this. It looks like there was a bit of an oil stain, so I, for some reason, I decided to spray the oil stain. Why? I do not know. Just me being strange. So, let's cut into this now. Uh, okay, where else can I make a slit without revealing my information? Did I just take like almost three minutes to open this box or like, some boxes are a little more work to get into than others, so yeah, I should I should at least be talking, you know, I should be talking. I shouldn't have just been merely slicing because that would have been ultra boring. But yeah, so in, in, in this baby extreme, baby burst dynamite, baby burst ultimate. As you can tell, this box is a rather... And as you can tell from the sound effects of that, my setup just completely fell. Like, just totally, totally fell. Well, thank goodness the phone actually fell in my lap, as opposed to falling smack dab on the concrete. But man, oh man, is that so friggin' annoying when that happens. Gosh darn it. At least you can see this cleared logo until I get everything set up again. I have to pause the video and we'll resume once I have the setup cleared. Get it? Clear the setup. And I am back. My oh my, that was not fun. Like, yikes. I promise you, we'll get to the exciting stuff very real soon. Just bear with this growing stuff for a little longer. Oh wow, the prominent set is freaking big, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. See, I told you, we'll get to the exciting stuff. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought. I'm gonna get too excited though, because as this video's title, it's about the Sphinx Cow or not a prominent Phoenix set. Wait, is that even the name? No, the, the, the name is supposed to be... Gosh, I forget what this actually is. I'll just call it a prominent Phoenix set because I forget the name. Overdrive set. Okay, yeah, it's an overdrive set. Right, so all in all, what did I have inside of this box? You got the Sphinx Cowls. Got three of these. Now there's a very, very valid reason. 
You see, because I want one to be in left spin permanently and one in right spin permanently, that's why I got two. And then this one is just for decoration. Just for, yeah. Uh, I just say for display purposes, yeah, yeah. This is this one's just to be a, a display Beyblade for well, these two for battling. And that's the case with this as well. That I intend for one of this to just be for the display and then one for battling. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna go with that. Dang it, there's like three day blades and then uh LR launcher, so I just, I don't I don't know why I'm so shocked about how big this is. Like But then again, you know, it's also gonna be my first time honestly. So it's just like wow. Alright, so attention to this thing's cows. Just before I get to those, I need to get this desk super soon. I'm not sure which is which because it doesn't look like they're, they're even color coded this time. So, Mani. And when you see a Mani sticker, you know that this is from Hong Kong. In this case, I bought this one from Everwish. Wait, I, I do not think I said it this, thus far in this video that I bought all of these from Everwish. Yeah, what's the things just falling on the floor today? So many things just falling on the floor. And the sticker does not want to come, you know, I forget it. I really wanted to show his face, but the sticker really, really does not want to come off clean for me, so... Yeah. That sucks though, because I really wanted to have this come off clean. Yeah, was I in frame when I was just slicing that? I hope so. So you don't want this to be too boring. Oh, right, 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 right. I need to slit here too. You know, I really don't know if there's even any point in honestly keeping the Hong Kong Beyblade boxes because for Cobalt Drake, first things first, you'd have to send their points to your Hong Kong account. And then second thing second, to get the, co the Hong Kong Cobalt Drake, you have to apparently go in the store. I, 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 I don't even know if you could actually pay somebody to get it. Probably could, but as not like with the Takata Tomi one, the, or actually the Hong Kong and Japan, they both have the Takata Tomi Beyblades. So what I should say, it's not like... With the Japanese one, where you actually can have it shipped. I mean, you do have to go through a little bit of rigmarole, but at least you can still get it shipped once you have the address and whatever set up. For the Hong Kong one, I am not sure why they make it like, oh wow, I'm here stitching it off camera. Yikes. Actually, yeah, why am I trying to keep the box? You know what I mean? So I can just pull this out just like that. Okay, there we go. Who knows, maybe the Hong Kong codes might come in handy later, so I'll just keep them for now. Okay, I really should take out my scissors because this will make the job much, much easier. Where are my scissors? I know, I have them somewhere. Okay. Well, I guess for this one, the box is not going to have any structure anymore because I kind of just destroyed this. Oh, 
Oh, this is the prize one. Would you look at that right out the bat? Camera, you gonna focus? There we go. I love that this Egyptian theme. The colors of ancient Egypt. Well, actually, ancient Egypt. There's there's a certain color palette, and as we know, this turquoise. Actually, I don't even know if turquoise would be the most accurate way to describe this bluish green color and gold signature colors of the ancient Egypt. And here we go. Wow, he's beautiful. Bring him up closer. Sphinx cowl. Unfortunately, I do not know if I'm going to be able to push this back in here. I should be able to, it's not like I absolutely demolished the box. So I should be fine. I would have loved to showcase Ben. No, his name's not Benjamin. I forget what his name is. I'll just call him Zonamos. Yeah, actually, I think that was his name Zonamos Nekoyama. Yeah, for, yeah, for now, I'll keep the Hong Kong boxes just in case something useful and significant happens with them. Alright, so I think to facilitate this... Wait, hold on a second, let's be a no, this is an open way too easily. Well, actually, no, then again, that's because he was already in the box. I shouldn't be soft. For a moment, it, it kind of caught me off guard. I was like, wait, why does it open so easily? Well, it's like, well, yeah, of course it opened easily. But it's because they opened the box. Silly me. You had to open the box, or if you didn't open the box, how would he be able to confirm the set? Almost, man, almost. Ugh. These stickers really, really do not want to have... Me showcase this guy's face, which sucks. Like, I do not know why they're being so like that. No, they're just not ripping clean for the life of it. Ah. Okay, so this one came out fairly clean. So, what, if, so if I want this one to come out easier, what I should do is actually just slit the slides, the tape slides like this. So have the side slit. I do the same to this side as well. And it should hopefully free the contents so that I can keep the cardboard intact. Or key what I say hopefully because clearly that hasn't been the case. I'm trying to slit the sides but I'm not having a whole lot of luck. Okay, there we go. Alright, so actually that worked. Nice. That worked. This is the black one. It's a shame that even though this feels fairly hefty, that this Beyblade actually has poor performance. Like, well at least the main one. I haven't seen anybody really extensively test the other ones too much, but like for the main one though, I've seen him pitch against many other Beyblades and it's like he just either would burst easily or just be thrown up the stadium rather easily. I do not know what is up with the defense types, but based on the tests that I've seen, they're currently outclassed. My USB-C thing just fell on the floor, darn it. Uh, how would I get this adhered? You know, it's going to run this port here. No, it's on the same place. Okay, now, now, now I know you cannot see what I'm talking about. So 
Now, where is the bag with the bit? Or did I not take out the bit yet? Did I? Hmm. Okay, the bit has to be somewhere here. Something is very, very suspicious about what just happened. Or you know what, maybe I might have actually just put this back way too damn soon. No? No, that's not the case. Okay, where's the bit? Oh wait, never mind, never mind. I already took out the bit, silly me. What happened is I got distracted with my USB-C to USB-C power cord falling to the floor, and then I forgot about the bit. Right, there we go. Put this Egyptian boy together. What's really cool with this random booster is that all these colors are actually canon. They actually appear in the cartoon. So that's nice. Because with the other snake guy from Zuganic, I forget his name. It looks like his random boosters. For some reason, those colors... I, I don't know if they appeared in the cartoon or not, because I'm not fond of cartoons too closely right now. But from what my memory serves me, I do not think they've appeared in the cartoon officially, so that is that. Do I want to attempt to peel this, or is this just going to trash? Actually, I'm not going to attempt to peel this. It already told me twice, so i not be bothered. So it looks like sometimes they'll attempt to reseal them, sometimes not. Do I care? No. For the random boosters, I should say I do not care because they need to check them. But if this were another one that were tampered with, then yeah, that would that be a serious problem. But for the random boosters, you'd want them to be opened. Or I should say for complete sets, rather. Com for complete sets. Because if you are buying a random booster that's not a complete set, and if it is opened, then that's actually bad for very obvious reasons because it means that they're rigging or messing with it. But for a complete set, though, where it's confirmed, that's fine. A complete set from a trusted seller, I should say. Because if you're buying a complete set from an untrusted seller, chances are they probably did not do their due diligence. Or maybe they did, but it just it pays to just get from a uh, trusted seller. And in this case, I bought this from Everwish. There's a lot of other trusted sellers that you can't use, but for me, I've used Everwish for the last... I've shopped from them since 2020. Well, sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll, shop, sometimes I'll buy from Freestyle. Sometimes I'll buy from... Where do I mainly get my Beyblades? I know back in 2021, I, I bought some of my births from... Mall of Toys, but lately my go-to has either been Mercari Japan, Sudugaya, or Everwish. Sometimes three style. Actually, at the time I'm recording this, I did have some Beyblade UX products coming from Sudugaya. Yeah, I know. I'll get around to boxing those eventually. Not exactly right now. I currently have a serious backlog of videos to edit, so, yeah. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this one might actually be the prettiest in this set. I mean, this one, nice and all, but there's just something pristine and beautiful about this white and blue aesthetic. Is this, okay, no, I almost thought this was the same, but then upon another inspection, that is not the case. It was saying frame. I have to really be careful how I'm assembling these, man. Sometimes it feels like I'm. Whoa. How did that come off so easily? What happened there? This is even click. Right. Normally I do at least try to do a test bachelor too, but in this case, we're not getting around to that in this video. I feel like digging out the other stadium. So, yes. Is that tape in my hand? Yeah. That's been it for this night cowl. Night cowl. Sphinx cowl unboxing. Which of these cards do you like the most? For me, it's a toss up between these two. Like, I know this is supposed to be the official one and have that 
signature Egyptian theme, but I just love the pristinity of this one.